What's happening, guys? This is Hyper Paradox, and welcome to a special extra bonus video of Beyond Good and Evil. Now, I am actually playing on another one of my duplicated save files, because in this episode, I'm actually going to show off the M discs that I have not showed off yet. And I happen to have three. First of all, when you complete the species inventory, you get this, the animal species M disc. And we actually have the lighthouse theme playing in the background. But, as its name suggests, you can actually uh, take a look at some of the uh, animals that you snapped. Pretty nice, actually. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. Yeah, haven't been feeling quite right today. But anyway, that's not going to stop me. But yeah, this is just the uh, animal directory and what you've, what, what you, what snapshots you took of the animals. That one was pretty good. All right, there are three M discs that I haven't shown shown yet, and uh, the third one, the next one is the Pearl game. This is actually a little bit of a game designed by Esam, and you get this M disc when you collect all eight, 88 pearls. And basically you have to uh, maneuver the two pearls and try and get it a uh, high score as possible. Um, I'm actually not sure if the PS3 version, the, PS, the PS3 HD version, actually has an achievement for surpassing the high score, but since I'm playing the GameCube version, there are no achievements, and I'm actually doing pretty well so far. But, uh, yeah, there, there actually isn't any music playing. So, uh, it's kind of a fun game. It's a little bit difficult to maneuver the two pearls, though, in my opinion. Ah, case in point. Alright, let's see if I can, uh... Okay, I'm not doing very well. I only have 60, 691 points, and the high score is over 14,000. Okay. Alright. Okay, but that's basically the uh, Pearl game. Uh, nothing too special about that, but it, it's a fun way to pass the time, I guess. And like I said, there might be an achievement if you're playing the PS3 HD version of the game. Now, the last uh, M-Disc we want to take a look at is M-Disc 13, the one where you have to go to the Darkroom website. And it is essentially... And it is essentially the uh, disc game that Francis likes to play. And Propaganda plays in the background, which is a uh, nice touch. But you can actually set the difficulty of the computer player, or if you have a uh, or if you have another, a friend with you, you can play against them as well, which I think is pretty cool. It's really the only multiplayer aspect of this game. But uh, I personally wish they would have uh, created a new game, but I guess this is okay. I mean, it is. Props to them for. Like I said, props to them for having a multiplayer in this, uh, in the disc game. But anyway, uh, let's see if I can, uh, score a hat trick with this game. Alright, come on. I actually think I, uh, set the computer to easy. Oh well. But like the, uh, but like when you play against Francis, it's, uh, it's the best two out of three. And I am completely sucking right now. Okay. Alright, I'm actually doing pretty well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come on. I guess now that I meant now that I'm thinking about this, there are a couple of people I wanna thank before I officially close this project. 
Um, I want to thank all of my subscribers, but there are three in particular that I want to personally thank. I want to thank The Factory, who has been giving me lots of support. And uh, if you haven't checked out his channel yet, I highly recommend you do. He actually tells interesting facts about different about different things, which is pretty awesome. And cool, I won. Uh, also, I want to thank uh, YK Gaming. He's been giving me lots of support as well. And uh, I'll post the links to their channel. I'll post the links to their channels in the uh, in the video so you can check them out. Lastly, I want to thank my friend Pierre Luc Pelletier. He is my biggest online friend, and I wish I could meet him personally, except he and I live in different countries. But that's not important because he has been really supportive of everything that I've done online and um, if you guys if you guys ever meet him he's a really really cool guy to uh, he's a really cool guy to talk to so um, I don't know what else to say except I have immensely enjoyed working on this project this is a fantastic game and for those of you who have never played it, I would highly recommend you do so. So I think for now, this is Hyper Paradox signing off. Or should I say, taking off.